Two years after the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis sparked protests and calls for police reform, Governor McMaster has signed a new law to regulate how law enforcement agencies operate in the state. News 19's Becky Buds has more on what's included in the law and also how it will impact law enforcement agencies. South Carolina has a new law aimed at raising minimum standards and boosting accountability in law enforcement. And uh, really just trying to get to the point where we could get the law enforcement profession more professional and that is what we're trying to do with this legislation. President of the South Carolina Sheriff's Association, Jared Bruder, explains while there are minimum standards for law enforcement officers, there aren't any for law enforcement agencies. But this law changes that. The law bans putting an untrained officer on duty alone, expands on what qualifies as police misconduct, and bans chokeholds across the state outside of circumstances in which the use of deadly force would be allowed. It also tasks the Law Enforcement Training Council with writing the minimum standards agencies must abide by and threatens penalties for agencies that don't follow the rules. Bruder says these standards will have a big impact on smaller agencies. According to Bruder, nearly half of South Carolina's agencies consist of 10 officers or less. A lot of them are, are struggling to even survive, to have the right equipment, to have bulletproof vests, to have those types of things. And, and policies and procedures for many are a luxury. And that shouldn't be in 2022. South Carolina NAACP President Brenda Murphy says the law is a step in the right direction. I'm glad to see that there's going to be some training of new officers and they will be preceptored by experienced officers and um, uh, I think that will be a, a positive thing. Though Murphy would like to see the legislation go further. I'm just concerned about those minor, the management of situations where maybe the situation does not have to escalate uh, in the manner that it does sometimes and then we end up with a very bad situation. And Most of the law went into effect under McMaster's signature except the Law Enforcement Training Council's establishment of standards which goes into effect in 2023. At the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. Today, President Biden signed an executive order aimed at reforming policing policies. The order creates a national registry of officers fired for misconduct and encourages law enforcement agencies to tighten restrictions on chokeholds and no knock warrants.